Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 mobile build to look at. This is 15237 for mobile. And is as often the case, there aren't really anything new to show. Uh, there isn't anything new to show uh, with this build. Ah, so once again with mobile, there's no major changes to report. Things are very much in maintenance mode. We've got the Cortana. No, we got the continuum fixed last week, didn't we? But nothing this week. So let me tell you what's new in this build. They fixed um, a, an issue with the Field Medic Store app when collecting the Watson data crash. What that means, that's the app that's using to um, monitor for when uh, stuff crashes on the phone. And um, they've updated the power on, power off profiles to include some extra battery info. So that's used for Microsoft to analyze crashing issues. They fixed an issue where the screen would flash black after um, launching the camera. They fixed an issue with the HP uh, Elite X3 recording the SD card. They fixed an issue with Continuum where when additional monitoring is unplugged, the uh, mobile LCD would not power off. So it would drown your, drain your battery. And they fixed an issue with Cortana resuming from specific for suspension and they fix an issue with the uh, hardware search button in some countries where Cortana is not available so if you haven't got Cortana available uh, you just get the search button and they fix that there's still a couple of known issues um, there's probably the Elite X3 and wired docks in portrait mode there's um, if you saved apps to an SD card you may get an error 8007000B and you've got to move those cards back to the internal update, those apps back to the internal memory, update them, and then you can move back to the SD card. And also, there may be an issue with um, 8007 when you're installing a store app and the, um, or updating the store app, and the workaround is to uninstall the old version and reinstall it from the store. Interesting that it is a new known issue on the uh, PC build that's just been released uh, at the same time, but totally different build number 16257, but that has the same issue. So that's it. So there's nothing I'm afraid I can really show you. You like said you're a loyal Windows uh, mobile fan if you uh, continue going through these uh, build videos and uh, watching those. We have kind of got between us now a good documentation of all the various versions of Windows 10 mobile. And uh, yeah, I'd like to hear from you actually. If you enjoy watching these videos, you can email me ian at thedigitallifestyle.com or at iStix on Twitter, Twitter, or just send me a message, let me know how you're getting on with your Windows 10 mobile build. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you on the next one.